the metabolic disorders. As you know, when we eat, we eat protein, fat, and carbohydrate. These food that we ingest should be converted into energy. That energy allows us to move, use our brain, think, and for our organs to function. There are several metabolic disorders where there is a disorder of utilizing those food ends up foods into developing energy. So then they will cause problems with predominantly brain function because the brain is the greatest spender of the energy that we create through our nutrition and digestion, etc. Some metabolic disorders are because of a lack of an enzyme, complete lack of an enzyme. Therefore, the baby becomes ill on the first day of life. There are other metabolic disorders that are predominantly related to protein metabolism. So they present on the second, third, fourth day of life after the child has been given some protein food formula. The other metabolic disorders that might appear much later. So predominantly metabolic disorders are those disorders where there is a defect in the enzyme system that allows the body to utilize the food that we eat and convert into energy. Can a child with autism develop late onset metabolic disorders? It would be extremely difficult even to think about explaining that. If there are metabolic disorders, congenital metabolic disorders, they usually produce problems in the newborn period, infancy. Such children usually have progressive or stepwise decline in their function. Many of them are diagnosed very early in life. And if they are serious metabolic disorders, and if they continue to damage the brain, they produce neurologic disability, epilepsy frequently, and mental retardation. That is very different presentation than autism. So I don't think it's a matter of developing a metabolic disorder. There could be certain metabolic disorders which we call heterozygotes. That means it does not have the full syndrome that may develop and evolve at age five or seven. That has nothing to do with autism. So if you have a serious metabolic disorder that presents from because of a hereditary congenital developmental event, it will produce dysfunction in the child disordered development, delayed development, decline in function early in life. Therefore, I don't think they are related.